In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create a background layer with an image on top, with a transparent image like this, that will be on top of the background layer. So let's start to look how to do this. So let's start to look how to add an image background in ChartJS4, and then we're going to put in a overlay at the very back. So the first thing what we need to do here is to get our boiler template, which you can find here in ChartJS3.com getting started. And then once you're on here and this link you can find in the description box, copy this chunk of code and you're good to go. Next, if you want to support my channel, check out my Patreon page here. And just recently we have launched a Discord channel. So you can join the Discord group here. All right, what we're going to do here now is we're going to uh, create this item. I have an image here already, which is a star image where we have basically the stars, but this here is a transparent background. So let's start to putting the image in here. To do this, first of all, I need to make sure we put a comma here and create a plugin. So I'm going to say a plugins. And then in here, I'm going to say image background. That will be the plugin name. Let's copy this. Then I'm going to say here, constant image background equals then the ID. And then the ID will be the image background like that and then we're going to say here when would we like to draw this so for this this is very important we need to know the drawing moment but we want to make sure that the background design and the color that we're going to assign will be at the very back of this charts here so what i'm going to do here is the following i'm going to say here before the data sets has been drawn then we're going to or before that we're going to draw the image and all the design related to that so as a chart, arcs, and login options. Then what I'm going to do in here is we're going to say here constant and I'm going to do here an object destructuring. In this case, the chart area is very, very important. And the chart area is basically this area here where we draw the chart. So we're going to say here constant for CTX, then the chart area. And then within here, we're going to break this down. And this here basically is what we call a chart uh, or an object destructuring, by the way, because this chart is an object and I'm just going to split out this object here. So in here, the chart area, we want the top, the bottom, left, right, width, and height. Well, probably you don't need them all, but just having them here for now is fine. So now, once I did this, I want to say ctx.save. Then what I want to do here is start to draw, let's say draw that rectangular shape that will cover our star starry night here so basically the stars these are the stars and then we have a nice black or dark background color so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to say a ctx that fill rec and this creates a rectangle by default and will draw it immediately and this here we'll have the x coordinate the y coordinate the width and the height so this becomes quite easy because we will know, first of all, the width and height. There are these here, which measures basically the width and height of the chart area. I want to have a rectangle around there. Next, what I want to do is I want to have a starting point and the starting point will be at the very left side, which is, of course, this specific line. Then what I want to do is I want to start at the very top. And the top is this top line here. So I'm going to say here, top if i save this refresh you can see it instantly draws a shape a rectangle to be exact however i want to assign a color so i'm going to say ctx dot fill style and the style here let's put in here um let's make it rgba we're going to make it black but we're going to give it a slight lighter transparency so zero 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 and say zero point five so we make it a little bit of a dark starry night or at least dark. So there we are. We can remove these grid lines if that's desirable. We could do that by doing it in here, by the way. So it's a uh, grid. And then we say a display false. And we can copy that because I want to assign it as well for the Y scale. Doing that, we now remove all of the grid lines at the back. So we have no more distraction. Now, what I want to do is I want to grab this image here, the stars image. Let's go to, I'm just going to grab this one here. And what I will do is 
uh, we can do it just in here. I'll make sure it's here. Constant image equals, then we're going to say new image object. Once we do this, I have here now the image dot source and the source of the image is basically the file where the image is pointing to. Of course, this could be not on your uh, desktop, but it could be anywhere else, any source that you want to use. So once we do this, we have this image now ready. Of course, what I want to do now, I want to draw the image here. What is very important is to understand the drawing sequence. So if we draw here, we have this before the data sets draw. So we draw the black background or the grayish background here first, the rectangle first. Then on top, I want to draw the starry night picture or basically the stars image. So for that, all I have to do here is to make sure that it will load after this. Then I'm going to say here, ctx dot draw the image and the image here will be eventually the image source. Well, basically we have an image source and then we could have here some additional coordinates like the X coordinate, the Y coordinate, but there's still two more, which is very similar to basically here above, which is the width and height. These are optional, but if you don't do that, you might have your image being clipped off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab here while we have here now image. So that's the image constant. We put it in here as well. For the X and Y, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say here left. I'm going to grab here the top, put it just in the corner. I'm going to remove the Y or basically the width and the height for now. And if I do this, you can see here, I suspect it's being clipped off because the image itself is far larger. So what I can do now is to say, well, I would like to make sure that the image will be exactly fit. So it doesn't clip off this item here. Well, in that case, all we need to do is to get the width and the height here. So basically what I'm assigning, I'm just saying that I want the image to have the, this width, even if the width that we have here is different. So overrule or override the width here and follow the width instructions here. Same with the height, overrule it instead of 720 pixels, it will be whatever the height would be here. If I uh, save this here and make sure we ignore that, save this, then refresh, you can see the starry night has now readjusted itself. Let me just show it one more time so you can see it nice and clear. Let's save that. Pay attention with these dots here, you'll see they are different. There they are. Of course, what you have to consider if you do this, you might compress the image or stretch it out unintentionally. So you have to really consider that your image should have a rectangle or whatever the form is, a square rectangular shape. But this is basically the way how we can add up an image here. Let me just make this very clear. If I say the draw image will be done before the rectangle, look what will happen. We will draw the image first and then the rectangle will be on top and it's now not visible anymore or at least the image is not visible anymore. So the order or the sequence in drawing is very important for this. So let's save that, refresh and of course you could change this here with different colors and that's it. There we are.